Big news today, we've got a big chunk of news you can use to start off with, is that Russia it finally invaded the Ukraine. Uh, we're going to talk first about global and national economics, and then we're going to drill down more specifically on how this is going to affect you guys in the housing market. Uh, first of all, uh, this is a, a full-blown war. They're expecting this thing could be the biggest conflict since uh, the Second World War, um, and I'm not sure what role we're having in it, but we're evidently, as we speak here tonight, sending several thousand troops over there to defend Ukraine. Um, the, the big problem that will affect our economy in this country and the global economy is it stems from supply chain issues uh, and then actual commodities and commodity prices, things like um, gas, natural gas, oil, that type of thing. Uh, Russia and Ukraine together provide 30% of the wheat to the world, and Ukraine alone provides 15% of the corn. Now, our country is more basic than either of these in the food supply chain, especially in wheat and corn. However, the rest of the world, uh, you know, is panicking tonight because they may not have enough food here uh, pretty quick. Uh, also, Ukraine is a significant producer of other foodstuffs like barley, uh, vegetable oil, and things like that. But the biggest thing is they produce a huge amount of nitrogen, or it's called ammonia. Uh, it's a gas, and it is used, it's converted over to nitrogen fertilizer. It's used on every acre in this country that's farmed, and most of the world. Uh, you cannot farm most crops without nitrogen. And they are one of the largest, if not the largest country in the world that produces ammonia, which is the precursor product to nitrogen. So that's going to be a problem. Also, they're basic in things like oils and a number of metals, including steel, iron ore, and um, a few other things, uh, rare earth metals that are used in computer processing, making computers. Um, all of these things are, you know, up in the air. Obviously, if a uh, country's in the middle of war, we're not going to see them going out and mining products and shipping them around the country. Uh, also, we've had this economic issue because of COVID where we've talked about this for the last year and a half where we couldn't get boats offloaded. Uh, getting stuff shipped from the Orient to here uh, has been slow, arduous because we can't get things unloaded in our ports. Uh, because of lack of manpower and then, you know, just a whole bunch of things, trucking issues, so on and so forth. So the workaround has been for a lot of the big companies, and especially auto companies, you've seen these auto lots around the country empty of vehicles, new vehicles for the last year or so. They're finally getting caught back up. And one of the reasons they, they were able to do that is they've discovered that air flight can be a reasonably priced substitute in the supply chain. In other words, instead of putting it on a boat and driving across the Pacific over here to Long Beach and Los Angeles, they can put it on these C4 jumbo jets and they can fly it. The problem is all of those flights go over Russia and Ukraine uh, from the uh, East Pacific Orient to our part of the world and even to Europe. Um, and those are now no fly zones as of today. So that's going to hurt that stuff as well. Um, in terms of our economy, what's happened today, stock market took a big dive, then came back up at the end, and the futures have taken a horrible dive for tomorrow. Cryptocurrencies are down, um, and uh, you know we'll see what the next day or two brings uh, in terms of these things. But we've talked about these kinds of events, you know, will be happening at some point, and you know how to play that angle. Um, as a practical matter, this has caused interest rates to drop in the mortgage market for our country, uh, just in the last, and they priced this in, but in the last week or so, for the first time in probably 16 weeks, we've seen mortgage rates go from about 3.92% down to about 3.8. Uh, and that's on the verge of what the Fed wants to do, which is start raising interest rates uh, next month, which is basically next week. Um, and so we're gonna see you know, what's gonna happen there. Now, in terms of the housing market, uh, the supply chain issues and the unavailability of things like lumber, OSB, uh, plumbing parts, uh, those kinds of things are going to drive up the costs of rehab, of new home construction. In a lot of cases, new home builders can't build homes because they're not going to be able to get the supplies and the things that they need, either directly from 
you know, Russia, Ukraine, which are once again, basic in a lot of uh, commodity type uh, products, or they're not gonna be able to get them, you know, flown over from say China because they're not gonna be able to pass through the airspace there. So um, that's gonna mess up our market. Uh, already gas prices, you guys have seen these things being priced into the market for the last two weeks. Gas is going up all over the country. Here in California, it's not unusual to see $5 plus per gallon. Uh, at the pump. Uh, people have money, you know, it's a minor inconvenience to them. They just go down and it, it takes just as long to fill a tank full of gas with $5 gas as it does three. But a lot of people can't afford that in a lot of, a lot of the country and a lot of California, frankly. Um, it, it's, it's difficult. So evidently tonight, the president has announced he's going to come up with some fantastic plan to help ameliorate the gas price increase in this country and uh, but that's on the verge of uh, his sanctions not working and him claiming today that he knew they weren't going to work they weren't designed to work i don't know why you do sanctions if they weren't designed to work but russia's basically thumbed their nose up at us and said we don't care if you sanction us or not we're basic in everything including our own money so we don't need your help so i suspect things are going to get worse before they get better um, it's going to make it, uh, the supply of houses will continue to be short compared to the demand, but the demand is tailing off because when you get bad economic news, as we've talked for a couple of years here, people don't want to move and take and make big life decisions when that's the case, which will tend to then drive down some prices in the market. Be good for us to be able to buy at a little bit lower price. Uh, the problem is if a house needs a lot of work, then it's going to be difficult to do within any reasonable financial budget. So we will we'll keep you guys up to speed. I know this is a lot longer than normal uh, news you can use, but there's a lot of the news cycle. Tomorrow uh, and Tuesday, we'll talk about uh, some of these other things that are, are gonna be more directly affecting the, the housing market. And some interesting survey and some interesting information has come out about houses that have been sold new houses or people that have bought uh, for the first time home buyers over the last two years, about 77% of them are shocked and now complain that there is a, an amount of work that needs to be done on every house that's been bought. They have to do rehab, repairs, things like that. And as a, as a whole, this buying class of millennials is distressed because they can't call a landlord to go fix it. They're like, oh crap, we own the house now. Who do we call? And, uh, you know, a lot of these houses uh, that have been sold over the last few years have been able to get by with a little less work done to them than previously. The quality is, is not there. But yet these folks that are buying houses are used to seeing this stuff look immaculate on TV. That's not what they're getting in real life. So that's going to be a big issue coming up. And as usual, they will probably blame, blame the real estate investors. So uh, a lot more real estate news to come. I'll try and get some more in tomorrow morning if we get time, and if not, for sure on Tuesday, and we'll get a great speed. So that is it for news you can use today.